Monday morning and it's time for another recipe. Um, first put the warm water in a bowl. Now put in the dry yeast and mix everything well. Put everything for about 10 minutes for a rest on the side and we continue with the dry ingredients for the bagels. Also the sesame seeds, the chia seeds and mix everything well. Oh, I almost forgot the salt. Now put in the dry yeast and the water and mix with the spoon and continue to mix everything about 5 minutes with your hands until the dough looks like this. Now put a towel on the door and place it on a warm place for about one hour. After one hour your door should look like this. Next put in put some agave syrup in the pot and bring it to a boil. In the meantime form nine little bagels out of the dough. Now cook all the bagels for about 3 minutes in the water and afterwards put the very wet bagels on a baking tray and sprinkle them with whatever you want. In the last step bake them for another 20 minutes in the oven. So and of course I just shoot at this little boys. <laughs> They, they are really good. I already tried one and they turned out really good. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you this is my little setup for my food photos. I just bought um, a wooden plate and put some foil over it and yeah, that's the perfect little home studio. <laughs> getting dark it's 4 p.m. and it's getting dark um, yeah this was just a really slow Monday and I didn't do any kind of sports and I didn't go for a walk I was just listening to my body and today was a whole relaxing day and yeah later we will have dinner and just chill on the couch and yeah, that's the plan for this Monday and so see you later guys, see you later or tomorrow. <laughs> oh and the definitely the best thing about lockdown is to live in, in this comfy, oversized, cozy <laughs> clothes 24-7. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> By the way, this is how I get my wavy hair. I just created a new recipe for my food channel and it tastes really really good. Um, I will link the recipe in the info box. And yeah, this is the kitchen.
told me that benefit isn't that good because they are still do animal testing. Um, so I decided to do my eyebrows with the soap and a little brush like this. Um, and I just brush my soap and bring my arms in the right direction and I think it also works and yeah Today is a super sunny and warm day and the weather should be 60 degrees later and I'm super happy because the sun is out so I decided to meet a friend now and we are going to get some takeaway lunch and we will look for a nice place in the sun and have a <laughs> distance, distance lunch together in the sun and yeah to catch some sun rays because the next two days it should rain the whole day and yeah. Ooh, sweet potato bowl. back home and I'm back in my comfy <laughs> home wear outfit um, I think I'm I want to have some curtains in our bedroom and I think I will have a look now to get some okay, I'm currently looking for some curtains for our bedroom because I think when you have curtains the home the whole room looks more homely and feels a little bit comfier and but it's not that easy. Okay, I spent the whole afternoon um, looking for curtains for our bedroom and the time went by so fast. So I just had dinner because I was <coughs> hungry as always. Um, yeah. Now I have to do all the work I wanted to do in the afternoon, so yeah, time to do some work and see you tomorrow. the intestinal bacteria I told you last week or in the last vlog um, this is no ad I bought it myself because a friend of mine recommended them to me and she noticed um, she noticed improvements in her gut so I thought okay let's try it um, I've been taking them for a week now but I will give you feedback after I have tested them longer because yeah one week is not that long but I'm quite happy until now and I can also link it in the info box for you but yeah I will tell you more about it soon I just got an early birthday present package from my mom uh, my birthday is on Monday the 23rd but she already sent a package to me and I'm so happy, it's so sweet. I got, I already opened it, so. But I got some new books and I'm so happy I always wanted them. And I got an advent calendar with candles and I'm so happy right now. And oh, I had to share this with you. <laughs> Oh, and it's still the same day, but I had to change my clothes because I got the coffee on my other um, cozy set. So I'm back in, in this one. This is also one of my favorite. Yeah, because it's raining outside, I decided to continue or to start 
some new paintings. So I decided to don't put the ground base on the, on the new painting because I will do the background black. And then I do it again with the little sponge because it's easier to get a very um, smooth background. Hello and welcome to another day. <laughs> no, uh, oh my god, today was so, today morning was so stressful. It's, um, it's almost lunchtime, but um, I woke up today and it was like, okay, I have to look when the deadline for a project is. And then I saw the deadline was two days ago and I was like, shit. <laughs> So I ran to the car, drove to the supermarket, bought all the stuff I needed and um, since the morning I'm cooking in the kitchen. The kitchen looks like, <laughs> looks like the biggest mess and um, yeah, now I wanted to shoot the stuff I cooked and then I realized the battery is empty. <laughs> in the cam so I have to wait until there's a little energy back in the battery and I'm like oh, what a day <sighs> finger crossed that everything works and I can write the blog post today and do all the stuff today and send it to the client <laughs> uh, this is so something like this never ever happened to me until now <laughs> Today is today. By the way, today this package arrived and it's a birthday present from me to myself. Um, maybe you already know, but I'm a big vintage bag lover and I already bought some from the vintage bar and today this baby arrived and I wanted this one for so long now and now it's here. I'm a little bit excited. Ah. Ah, it's my first Louis Vuitton. Hey, little baby, you're so beautiful. <laughs> and here's the little collection of my favorite vintage bags. Um, this is my new baby. This is a vintage leather Gucci and this is a Fendi and this one is absolute my favorite one because it's so big and it has the perfect size and yeah. And this Yves Saint Laurent is the um, most expensive bag I have and this is the first bag I bought myself and yeah I still love it. It's so classy and so simple and it's you can wear it whenever you want. I love to combine it with sweater and jogging pants or a more classy look like a little dress with a blazer and it's yeah the perfect size and I'm really happy to have you. <laughs>
this is the finished outfit of the day. Um, I layered the long sleeve top, the, this super warm sweater, um, a leather jacket and a big black scarf. So, yeah. Ready to go. Thank you.